Hi, I'm Brett, and I'm the senior tech here at Aeromotive, and just wanted to talk to you Tuesday here about um, a little bit about fuel pump technology, particularly as it relates to the higher flow fuel pumps and the consequences of trying to put 800, 1200, 1600 horsepower or more uh, in a streetcar and drive it on the street. Aeromotive has been at the forefront, the, really the cutting edge for fuel delivery for 25 years. And starting with the A1000 pump and moving forward to today's outrageous five gallon a minute pumps, um, the challenge has been really spanning the, the what I call the chasm between how much fuel the engine burns at idle and light load, which is a very small amount of fuel relatively speaking, to the amount of fuel that you burn at wide open throttle. And when we size a fuel pump for an application, what we have to do is develop a pump that's going to provide the flow needed for wide open throttle, all out, full performance. As the amount of power we make gets higher and higher, um, the amount of fuel we have to recycle from the tank to the engine and back to the tank just gets larger and larger. Now, in a car with a gas tank that might be 20 gallons, most times it's not, it's maybe more like 14, 15, 16. Some of these later model tanks where the tanks are divided and you're only really recycling half of 16 gallons. When you have a pump that's flowing two, three, four, five gallons a minute, you recycle a full tank in a matter of minutes. What the consequence of that is, is the fuel's traveling through the engine bay on its way up through the chassis and then back by the exhaust. And in time, the fuel tends to gain temperature in the tank and it can reach a temperature where drivability is lost. I mean, the fuel pump starts cavitating and you run the risk of vapor locking the system, damaging the pump. Consequently, over the years, uh, Aeromotive has solved this problem with, say, an A1000 pump and a product that we've called our fuel pump speed controller. And this fuel pump speed controller has been magic for A1000, the Eliminator, even Pro Series pumps, where we can actually take the speed of the pump, tie it to the engine RPM, and as the RPM falls, as we're cruising around at lower RPMs, the speed controller slows the pump down. Now the big benefit to that is reduced recycling, keeping the fuel cooler in the tank over longer drives, so you don't have hot fuel handling and or vapor lock problems. The other benefit is bigger high flow pumps tend to make more noise, and especially as you get into the Eliminator and the Pro Pump categories, the controllers were nice to quiet the pumps down. So this is the technology that we've had in play for 25 years in one form or another, and it's been absolutely great. Now, lately, the technology for fuel delivery from Aeromotive has evolved, and we've gone on to include new brushless fuel pumps, and brushless motors in our, our pumps draw less current, are capable of producing more torque, producing higher flow numbers, but consequently, they're also recycling fuel very aggressively. And you can't take a pump speed controller like this and attach it to a brushless motor controller or a brushless motor because you can't pulse modulate the actual signal to a brushless pump like you can to a brush style pump. So we've relied on pulse modulation with our controller to control a pump like this. And now with the new brushless pumps, that has not really been an option. Now, truthfully, the brushless pumps have been more tolerant of continuous duty simply because they do draw less current and they do produce less heat. But as we get into these three and a half and five gallon a minute pumps and really going all the way down to the brushless A1000, we knew that we needed to evolve these motor controllers to include the ability to speed control the pump. So we've recently released our new brushless fuel pump motor controllers which are available on all of our brushless pumps, A1000, Eliminator, brushless three and a half, and the brushless five gallon a minute pumps. And I'll tell you what, they're pretty cool, partly because the simplicity of the installation. I mean, you have now, instead of a separate component that you have to purchase and install in the car separately and then calibrate to the pump, you actually have the brushless motor controller with an integrated control circuit, and it's simply a regular power and ground and a third wire input which is going to use a 0 to 5 volt reference and basically as you vary the voltage on this wire 
the pump speed will go up and down. Now, the execution is simple. You don't have to purchase any kind of tack adapter. You don't have to do anything crazy. You can literally just switch this wire to 12 volts and the pump will go to full speed. You can remove 12 volts and it'll slow down. Or you can go to your TPS sensor, your throttle position sensor. And if you have a carbureted engine, there are kits that you can get in the aftermarket that you can put a TPS sensor even on a carburetor. All fuel injected engines have a TPS sensor with a 0 to 5 volt reference. This wire connected to the signal wire from the TPS. As you throttle the engine open and closed, that voltage goes up with open throttle and down with closed throttle and the pump will speed up and speed slow down, I should say, automatically. So this makes for a really simple clean installation. Another benefit, and it's more related to economy, is that these brushless pumps do cost a little bit more than our regular brush style pumps. But by the time you purchase a brush style A1000 and you purchase a fill pump speed controller, you can purchase a brushless A1000 with the new TVS controller installed on the pump for about the same amount of overall cost, within $20. So when you think about it, if you're looking at a brush style pump and then you know trying to drive a, an eliminator or an A1000 or a pro pump on the street, and you look at the alternative brushless pumps and you go, okay, well those do cost more, but then you factor in the cost of the pump and the controller and you compare that to one of our new brushless TVS pumps, you're really, uh, it's about a wash. So you're gaining the, the, the benefit of the brushless motor, the durability, um, you're gaining the, the lower current draw, and you have the ability to actually speed control the pump built right in. So I wanted to share that with you today. I think that's pretty exciting news. If you have any questions, give us a call on the tech line. My name is Brett. Call anytime.